I'll do it a couple times so you get a good one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Courtright, and I'm going to be going through one of my surgeries with you guys today. Okay, so here we're looking at the x-ray of the foreign object. The owner was not 100% sure what exactly it was. It was a little bit of a mystery to us, but this cat had been vomiting for a few days without resolution. Um, so we're jumping forward here to the actual surgery part. This is when I had identified where the object was in the intestinal tract. Um, I obviously had a general idea based on the x-rays, but the reason we call the surgery an abdominal explore is because it is just that. Truly, we don't know 100%, um, even with an imaging beforehand, what exactly we're going to find, if there's going to be anything additional. Luckily for this for this cat, it was pretty easy to find exactly where where we needed to go. So I've isolated that area. I made an incision into healthy tissue, um, and here I am getting the object out. It came out very easily. One of the other things that we do have to be very cautious about cutting into the intestine. Luckily, again, this this cat was um, treated, and we did the surgery pretty quickly. But if they go a prolonged period of time without getting the surgery, there can be damage to the intestine. So that's also something that we're looking out for. Um, and here you can see the object. I think we thought maybe it was a piece of um, a toy or something at first, but it, it turns out that it was actually part of the cat's slow feeder. Um, and then here I am stitching up where I incised into the intestine. So again, this is a process we wanna be really careful with, not to damage the intestines at all. And then here's our cute little patient waking up. She did great afterwards. Um, just another reminder to definitely get some pet insurance. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to see more of these videos, doctors reacting to their surgeries, follow along and we will be posting some more shortly.